is. I don't know if you follow the whole Menendez brothers. You know about that story. I was a kid when it happened, so I'm very much aware of it. Yeah, we. It, so they traveled like the OJ child when we was kids. So we, I was on TV every day. Mm-hmm. My first, it's a part A and a part. So the first part, I want to know, like, do you feel like maybe they was innocent? Uh, no, they killed their parents. Like out of self defense. It, 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 it wasn't out of self defense. They had mitigating factors uh, that caused them to 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 make those type of to make that choice uh, with an undeveloped brain. So, so I'm a guy that's been a youth advocate. Right. So I understand brain development, uh, the prefrontal cortex, uh, the lack of logic and reasoning. So I, I understand that when they committed this crime at 18, 19 years old, uh, that they was kids who had been abused, traumatized, and had been dealing with childhood trauma, and they lacked the full brain development to really understand what they was doing, right? So. Th- all the science and, and medical data and research in the world says that the human brain does not fully develop to at or around age 25. That's why your insurance rates are so high until 25, mm. right? It's all, so they don't have the brain capacity on top of being molested by their daddy. Uh, all this is going on. So when they make this home they're thinking irrational, that's why they act irrational after it happens. So I understand that. The world didn't understand that back then. Mm-hmm. The world was still sentencing children to life without parole when the Mendez brothers got their time. They were sentencing 12-year-olds with life without parole back then, mm. only to come back in 2016 with a Miller versus Graham ruling in the Supreme Court and said it is unconstitutional to do children like this. Uh, but because their daddy was a very, very big man in live nation, in the entertainment world. Right. Uh, d- yeah, they was railroaded. So yeah, they, yeah, they were so. So uh, with that, with that undeveloped brain, do you feel like they actions? Their actions were innocent. Are, they're not innocent because they did the crime. Right. Do you keep saying innocent? No, they're not innocent. When I was five, I stole something. I knew I was doing something bad. So, so yeah, they need to be punished, but they don't need to be punished for life without parole. Yeah, man. It, they're so when you go to court, they they have something that's called a criminal. Defense mitigation specialist. A criminal defense mitigation specialist is something different from a criminal defense attorney. The mitigation specialist is the one who go interview your mother, your grandmother, and find out, okay, he was molested at four years old by a stepdad. Uh, when he was in ninth grade, he was molested by the coach. Uh, when he was in, in 12th grade, he fell down a flight of stairs, bumped his head, and had head trauma. So they come present all these mitigating factors to the court. The court is supposed to consider those mitigating factors. Right? right, and say because of these mitigating factors, rather than giving this kid life without parole, we give him ten years. Mm-hmm. They didn't have that information and data back then. That's why now you're starting to see people come out now because now we have all the information and data on top of the family saying this abuse really happened. They didn't allow they did not allow the family to come in and testify on their behalf because their dad worked for Live Nation. Mm. Mm. Live Nation is big, so imagine, homie, yeah. And, mm-hmm. and they was just becoming Live Nation back then. Right. So it, 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 yeah, nah, homie, so they're not innocent. Uh, I, I think they've paid their debt to so society. So that was my next question. Kim, so Kim Kardashian is now trying to get them out of jail. She's How do gonna you feel get about them out. that? She, she's gonna get them out. Yeah, uh, part of what Kim Kardashian, homie, she, she's, She's done a lot uh, in, in, in criminal justice reform and trying to help people get free. Uh, homie, she even tried to help Larry Hoover. That's a surprising answer. I thought you were going. Nah, homie, I, she tried to help Larry Hoover, nigga, so I can't discredit her. And, nah, she's really, she really tried to go get a law degree, and she been going to go try to free some niggas. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, it's always been the white woman like her, my nigga, to come try to help a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's why I ain't never been mad at white people. Niggas, yeah. I always been a white school teacher like her, a white probation officer, a white, it's always been a white woman homie, that had some kind of compassion for the nigga and a go against her white husband for the nigga. Mm, Don't right. do the nigga like that, baby, just a nigga, <laughs> boy. So yeah, so it, it's always been, uh, and she got compassion for the niggas. 